happening now. The Tucson Fire Department released its annual report for 2023. They've responded to more than 100,000 calls from medical, fire and water rescues, all the while trying to overcome staffing challenges. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon took a look at the report and spoke with the fire chief on how some of these challenges are impacting goals set for this year. The Tucson Fire Department responded to 103,562 phone calls last year, and over 100,000 of those were medical emergencies. But some staffing challenges are creating an obstacle when it comes to their medical emergency response. One of the major challenges they're facing is retirement. With firefighters leaving the department, new ones need to take their place. What we have to do is navigate the issues of workforce planning, meaning knowing when or predicting as close as possible to when people are going to retire and timing our recruit academies so that we keep our vacancy rate as low as possible. Tucson Fire Chief Chuck Ryan says there are currently 645 commissioned firefighter positions and staffing numbers have improved. Say so when I first got here in September of 2019, we had over 40 vacancies in our department. We're now down in the 10 range or so. Despite the progress, one goal falls short. TFD has shifted its staffing model to place one paramedic on engine crews and designated ladder crews. The department has already received over 44,000 EMS calls this year, but crews are not properly equipped. Oh, every engine company in the city has a paramedic. We, are, we don't have the capacity yet to get to where we would have a paramedic riding on our ladder companies yet. But that's a goal we're working toward. But alongside the rigorous training for a paramedic compared to an EMT, Chief Ryan says there has definitely been a shift in recruitment interest. This five, six, seven years ago, Tucson Fire was seeing 1,500 to 1,600 applicants. Every time we'd open a recruitment, we're now seeing between five, six, seven hundred. And that's, a, that's a affecting fire departments across the country. Despite the decrease in interest, Chief Ryan says he was able to welcome 36 recruits to the TFD and also 14 of those are training to become paramedics as well. You can find the full report available on KOLD.com. Near Granada and Cushing, Andres Rendon, 13 News.